Hello everybody, this is Walrus McFish Sr. and we are back with some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. It's Harrigan the Fetishist, the halfling artificer of Gozag. And yeah, I got one more video in me for the night. Yeah, we had just made our way through the slime pits, and that was awesome, right? That was pretty good, in my opinion. We uh, were able to dive pretty effectively. We uh, took out the Royal Jelly in a fairly epic battle. Took all the loot while being relatively circumspect about it, not fighting the, the foes that didn't give us any experience. And uh, got a bunch of pretty cool loot, actually. We got some new spells, we got the much-coveted airstrike, as well as, uh, is that the only spell we learned? Yeah, we probably learned some stuff. But, uh, yeah, we could have learned a couple of things, but we left that spellbook down there. Uh, and we got a couple of cool artifacts, including this uh, semi-bittersweet dagger, which we can't unwield. But you know what? I was thinking about it. I think it's okay. I think we do roll with this dagger now. I don't know if I'll drop my rapier of electrocution just yet because it has sentimental value, but uh, I think we'll try to just roll with this, and then we'll try to sort of wean ourselves off the clouds, like, uh, you know, the, the various rods. Because they're annoying. Maybe we can drop the rods and go for more just a vocals like that or something like that. Because, you know, having to unwield like that, it's annoying and it uses a lot of hunger. So, I don't know. Let's see how we do. Plus, I was actually looking in our hunger. Our hunger is actually amazingly low right now. So, we can basically cast all the spells we want. We don't have to care about, you know, we can basically cast Phase Shift or uh, Control Teleport or Gale's Gravitas all the time. You know, not even worry about it. Which is amazing. Uh, yeah, it's only one pip of hunger at most, and that's only going to get better as our spell casting gets up a little bit. So that's pretty great. And looking at our skills while we're here, I think it looks okay. Yeah, I'm happy with my decision to ditch the sling. I sort of do want to, I guess we're going to use this cool new dagger. I guess we might as well train up our short blades a little bit. We've got a great aptitude for it. Fighting, dodging, armor? I mean, it's okay for now. I sort of like dodging with our amazing dexterity, which is another good reason to wield that dagger. Shields, yeah, we'll keep that off for a minute. We've been pumping that for a while. We're tired of using our shields. And we've got our amazing new artifact fire shield. And uh, there you go. Air magic I could focus a little bit more just because I want to get my airstrike better. Sure. Let's focus that for a second. And we'll keep our evocations high just so we can hopefully get to 21 with that pretty soon. Stealth is fine. Okay. I'm happy with this. Let's just roll with this for a minute. And... What are we going to do this video? Yeah, I think this video will probably head to Vault 5. One second, I'm going to pick up a uh, scroll of amnesia while we're here. Read it real quick and forget Static Discharge. So there we go. If we find a better S spell, we could put it there. I guess arguably we could put Shure Blade there or something like that. But uh, yeah, we didn't need Static Discharge for sure. Completely pointless. If we learned Singularity, oh, maybe we should reserve that for Singularity. Although maybe Singularity should be a capital S, because that's a level 9. You don't want to be casting that willy-nilly. Anyway, yeah, I think we want to do the Vault 5, because it should be exciting. It should be fun. It should yield another rune. You know, we don't need any more, honestly. We could just go and beat the game if we wanted to. But like with all things with Gozag, we're greedy for runes, too. We want all the runes we can get our grubby little hands on. So I head down to Vault 4. I think we're very prepared. I mean, I don't see what else we would need. Uh, we also have this big fat bribe waiting for us here, you know. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, I hope it hasn't decayed or anything. Let's check that out. How do we check that? Yeah, no decay or anything. So they've just sort of been holding my place for me, which I appreciate. Uh, should I take this stairs down to here? Because it's got a, a teleport trap right next to it. I think that's not a terrible idea. So what's the battle plan? It's good to have a battle plan. We're not going to use the immolation because I don't think that's going to be very effective. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go downstairs and then we're going to hopefully yeah, just have a lot of them be bribed. And then I'll cast summon forests to make a forest everywhere. And then maybe some Gale's Gravitas. I don't know. We'll play it by ear. So that's the plan. We're all relatively buffed up. We're still pretty full. I guess we're good to go. I mean, we could cast some more buffs or something. Let's get a shroud up. Sure, well, let's get a shroud. There's not going to be any people in, in melee range immediately, I don't think. But let's be prepared. All right, how many of you jokers have been bought off? All right, so they're jangling a coin purse times three times four. So, oh, grins greedily. So, okay, one of them has been bribed. Seven of them, at least, have been dissuaded from acting these guys shout 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 okay so not bad odds so far 
A lot of the other guys are still not amused, though. All right. Well, I'm not super impressed with that, to be honest. I guess it's better than nothing. See, here's why I wish I had my Rod of Clouds. Let's try the uh, the forest, though. Let's go for it. All right, we got a forest. That's pretty cool. Should we take some of these guys upstairs? I guess we ought to before that Vault Warden tries any nonsense. Yeah, here we go. All right, so this is annoying that we have to deal like this. I guess this is a uh, good excuse for the return of a fitted cloud, though. We haven't really been able to use that for a while. And now that we have an amazing dagger, we'll be able to get great confusion stabs, too, I bet. So, okay, that's something. Um, I guess we can cast... Yeah, let's, well, the shroud is still up. Ooh, we can't do that anymore. All right, fortunately, we can just blink away or something. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Check out that gold! Gozag, we gotta get in there. Gozag's nudging me towards that general area. I guess I should just blink. That worked. We ended up down here. I'm tempted to get out the Rod of Clouds. How about Gale's Gravitas? Gale's Gravitas, all up in here. Nice, that worked pretty well. Just cast it again. Nice, killing people with Gale's Gravitas. We should do it. All right, first we gotta cast um, Phase Shift. That worked, I guess. And now Gale's Gravitas, or Mephitic Cloud. That's the wiser thing to do, I think. And now Gale's Gravitas. I guess. Yeah, this is working well enough. I mean, these people are all dying. I'm getting smitten and stuff, too. I think that's part of the reason I'm taking damage, just because there's a Deep Elf Priest up there. But you know what? I'm not really dying that much. Like... They're not really hitting me, and they're all sort of generally getting confused. And some of them got bribed. You know what? I, I'm not sure if I really see the appeal in Gozag. I'm not going to lie. Like, this was supposed to be Gozag's big moment, impressing me in the Vault 5 staircase. Instead, he betrayed me, leaving me here to be locked downstairs when I was hoping to have, like, a whole army. Oh, what did I do? That was the worst Mephitic Cloud of all time, by the way. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, yeah, we're getting smitten by this... Uh, Deep Elf Mage. I really hope that doesn't last. Why don't you get confused? Well, yeah, you guys should all seriously get really confused. Have you tried being confused lately? It's just all the rage. Alright, he's gone. If we can get rid of that Vault Warden, then we'll be fine to just head back upstairs. You guys just want a Gale's Gravitas, don't you? But there's... Uh, we don't have any magic left. <laughs> I could just go invisible, right? Can you see invisible? He cannot see invisible. All right, I'm sure that some of these guys can see invisible. But let's just sort of duck around here, up in here. Get a couple stabs. Sure, we could airstrike. You know what, I think that's probably a good use. We could airstrike this uh, deep elf priest in the back. You think we can one-shot him? Uh, not quite, but next airstrike we could. It would be nice to be able to, how about just quaff a potion of magic? What else are we using those for? Got two potions of magic, yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that's justifiable, using a consumable or two on Vault 5 stairs. I feel like we are, like, like we're making a lot of noise. I guess it's most of the Mephitic Clouds that are making a ton of noise. Uh, yeah, these guys are getting seriously confused. We'd love to take out that Priest. Alright, so let's do that. We'll airstrike this Priest one more time, because I think he's almost dead. Almost dead. One more time. We can use the magic on this. Okay, yeah, you gotta die. We got the Elf Priest. Now we'll get in and take out the uh, Vault Warden before he becomes unconfused because they don't get confused too easily. I hope that there's no Will Wisps happening here. There's a Demonologist over there. Okay, that's really a problem. So you guys should get airstrike a couple of times. You're the new sun most priority. Okay, wait. Are you? Is there a Will Wisp or not? We'll kill the Vault Warden because he looked almost dead. But now we take out you before any sort of crazy Demon Fiend action happens. Okay, one more. Almost dead, and one more. We killed the Demonologist. Okay, let's blink with our last two mid magic. All right, this was amazing. We got a perfect blink up here. We can head upstairs and regenerate, uh, I hope. <laughs> no more Vault Wardens, please. We took out that one Vault Warden a second ago. Ow, okay, that did hurt. But let's uh, just head upstairs. All right, not bad. Yeah, we got hit by some stuff. But that's okay. I mean, you're going to get hit by some stuff down in the vaults. Just the way things work. Ugh, it's annoying to see you. It's like, where you come from? Good. Alright. 
pretty successful entrance to the vault, if I should say. I mean, do you disagree with me? Oh, okay. I was expecting to fight you, but you was uh, bribed instead. That's fine. Yeah, not even any stress about it. Gozag, you know, if, if nothing else, Gozag gave me confidence. And that's maybe the most important thing of all. Just being able to uh, have the confidence to deal with the depths there. All right, this ice dragon is annoying. Can I not stab you with this dagger? I don't know. I feel like this dagger is maybe not cutting it. I mean, I, I thought it was going to be good because it was plus eight. Daggers don't do a whole lot of base damage, I guess. Maybe the rapier did more base damage than I expected. I don't know. It's possible I overvalued this dagger. Maybe I should have gone back with the rapier. Although, if I can't get the stabs, like the confusion stabs, maybe it is better. So, I don't know. I wish we could switch more easily, but the, the contamination ego is killing me. All right, let's head back downstairs, and then, uh, well, how about drag some more of you guys upstairs? Possibly should have cast some buffs first. Let's get a shroud up. They're all confused, though, so it's not like it's a real issue. Shroud fell apart, but, you know, we'll just put another one on. Not like that's an issue. You guys can just get all so confused. Just drunkenly wandering around like idiots. Perfect. Done exploring. We got all the money. And we have another shroud. And get up a few more dudes. Might as well take them a few at a time. No reason not to. There we go. Perfect. Okay, a bunch of dudes, but it's okay. We just throw up the clouds. You guys love the clouds, right? And as soon as one of them becomes confused, we just get in our stabs. Still have the shroud. We could go with the phase shift. I'll be really unabashed about casting phase shift later. Soon, hopefully, if we can get that hungerless. I mean, maybe one more point in, in spell, spell casting ought to do it. Considering our intelligence is frighteningly high nowadays. It's, in fact, almost as high as Zabirius's was, I think, in his prime. I mean, we are level 27 characters and wearing a lot of enchanted gear, but still, well, Intelligence 29, I mean, that's something, right? We're getting to the point where we could be master level spellcasters. All right, down we go. We got, almost got everybody. <laughs> take you, take you. All right, yeah, you really ought to get kindly confused just before you try any necromancy shenanigans. You know Harrigan doesn't approve of necromancy. It will kill you and then take you upstairs. Maybe confuse you, but if not, I don't care. How about airstrike a couple of times? What do you think about that? Airstrike is hungerless, so I should just use it all the time. Uh, how do you get teleported there? All right, airstrike again. Gotcha. Gotcha, buddy. And teleport back over there, or auto explore over there. Get the gold. And we continue down. Our gold situation is incredible nowadays. Do we get a new title? Nope, still tycoon. I just want to see if there's anything better than tycoon. I just want to hoard gold for a while, just to see if we can get there. You know, it's never enough. You just got to get more and more. Should we airstrike a titan? That would seem to be a semi-ironic thing to do. Let's try to confuse him first and get up a shroud and just... Oh, we got him confused. Let's, let's get him if we can. Get some nice stabs in there. All right, yeah, titan is a pretty difficult threat sometimes, even for our advanced character. I was considering throwing an airstrike at him just because that's the ironic thing to do. And, you know, I appreciate a good ironic monster death. Take this guy upstairs. I don't think he's poison resistant. Oh, whoa, shroud happening. Whoa! Okay, can we get you with a net? <laughs> Just a spontaneous idea, but it seems to work pretty well. War gargoyles are surprisingly tough. I, I don't know if they got buffed slightly in point sixteen, or maybe if they're just... I mean, I remember them being tough. They give you trouble sometimes, if you're not expecting it. Yeah, this Sphinx is probably just smiting us a little bit. Unavoidable damage is unfortunate. There's very few ways to deal, reduce the damage dealt by a smite. Like being a deep dwarf is one of them. And we're not a deep dwarf. <laughs> we're a halfling. Not what you can do about that. Interesting how there's not really very much in the way of polymorphing this game. That was always one of my favorite parts about net hack was polymorphing. I know I've said that a couple of times. I just, just scum the start of the game until I end up with a, wand of, a ring of polymorph or a ring of polymorph control. Just you can do stuff like transform into a vampire or transform into like a Zorn and go through the walls or transform into, you know, a gelatinous cube and eat a ring or two and get that intrinsic ability. You know, you can do lots of crazy stuff in that hack. It was fun, but it was a different game. All right, cool, cool. Back to the grind, Vault 5. Anybody here want to fight? Yeah, we've attracted a lot of attention. You could just get confused, huh? 
There we go, gotcha. Oh, Stone Giant, he's the one who probably did the damage, actually. Didn't even notice you over there, you were so nondescript. Okay, I don't like that Phantasmal Warrior coming at us, especially because it can reduce your magic resistance. Quicksilver Dragon is also unfortunate. Let's try to airstrike down the Phantasmal Warrior. We'll take the dragon upstairs. Okay, we'll can try to confuse these guys. I guess, yeah, he doesn't have poison resistance for all of his anti-majory. Uh, no problem, no problem, no problem. Usually I, I get annoyed by Quicksilver Dragons because of what they represent, I guess. <laughs> what a dragon shapeshifter. Okay, uh, yeah, can we just get this guy with airstrikes? Are you flying? I don't know. Can I just, like, stab you a couple times? Is that too much to ask? Now you're a spriggan. Right, let's just throw up with some clouds. Maybe I can take care of you at least. You're dead. Can I tap my way through a Phantasmal Warrior? It doesn't look that tough. I guess we can. Good. I mean, I was pretty psyched about this dagger just because it's good neutral damage. You know, a plus eight dagger of piercing. It's pretty good, you know, against every enemy. You know, it's, it's you know, kind of mediocre against all enemies, I guess, because, you know, it's just generic damage. But the fact that it doesn't have any major holes or weaknesses means you can sort of justify wielding it all the time. And bring it to places like hell, where it's is much more useful than, you know, something like poison would be. Oh, we got locked in again with this detail sorcerer. Let's make sure we take him out quickly, and then we can kill the vault warden. Very good. Deep elf high priest can also summon some annoying guys. So let's make sure that he's at least starting to get confused. Gales gravitas on you, sure. Oh, I don't like that at all. Don't get mutated, please. Okay, confuse you guys. Like, can we just get confused before you try anything worse? Let's take you out, because this is most important. All right, get rid of the mutation threat. Now we can finish you off. Titan over here, too, being annoying. All right, get confused a little bit. We can just tab our way through Titan slightly. Yeah, honestly, he's getting distracted by the gold and stuff. That helps, too. Especially, yeah, the gold, the gold stabs are real here. Potion of your wounds. Okay, that's useful, I guess. Although we only got one of them, it's sort of taking up an inventory slot. Here's some deep trolls. Some dudes coming around. Okay, whatever. We can take out whatever this guy wants to throw at us. Alright, Death Drake I don't like. Let's use uh, Airstrike. Oh no, let's not get standing in rotted, rotted cloud. Got him. Nice. What's up, Mr. Yaktor? Very hungry. Eat a meat ration. There was a food shop pretty close by. Probably getting to be about that time where we would stop there. Have a quick snack, quick respite there at the inn. Oh, cool. Nice, my Vault Warden jumping into the fun. So I was hoping I would be able to bribe a Vault Warden. Oh, against a Tentacle Monstrosity too. Hey, that's pretty good. Thanks for taking him out. That would have been an annoyance. But thanks to you, Mr. Vault Warden. Made the job no problem at all. All right, the Tengu Reva over here is going to be a little bit of a problem. I also don't like that priest there. I don't like much of this stuff. There's some tough guys in here. There's a shop, though, which is a jewelry shop. A jewelry is good, but, you know, we're not going to say no to a jewelry shop, right? Don't get confused and hit me. That would be annoying. I hope you've got some poison resistance somehow. Okay, Shadow Dragon up there. How do we deal with that? Airstrike? Ancient Lich. Okay, that's a much better question of how we're going to deal with that. That's a dangerous combination, right? Ancient Lich is very dangerous at every stage of the game, and we don't have our <sighs> Dispel Undead because we're stubborn and we don't want to learn Necromancy. We could use the Airstrike. I'm sure you can see Invisible, right? I can definitely see Invisible. So what do we do? I don't even want to back away necessarily. I don't want to... I don't know how to face an Ancient Lich. Hmm... Let's use Lamp of Fire. <laughs> sure. Get on with the Lamp of Fire. That works. And, uh, yeah, maybe the Aerial Mentals will help out a little bit. Can we get him in a net? Getting smitten by an elf? I don't like that. Let's try to step forward and maybe get him in a, get him in a net. Don't want to get hit with, like, a... with an iron shot or anything. Try to get you in a net. Caught in the net, nice. Nice, okay, got him in the net. 
It works. Net works every time. The word net is like a brilliant invention. Nets are like my new thing. Like if you're gonna have any skill, Shadow Dragon dies. Nice, and we got some points for it because my air elemental killed it. We'd love to take out this. Um, yeah, this stuff is pretty annoying. You know what? I'm gonna back off. Let's just cast. Like let's just blink down away from here. Maybe confuse these guys. Got my repel missiles up still. You want to like get confused or whatever, that'd be fine. I messed up the spell. This is tough, tough foes over here, right? Am I wrong? Blink again. We're over here. All right, let's run. I should cast haste or something, but I think we can just sort of duck them. Right? Why don't you guys get confused? That'd be really convenient. If you were to just get confused. There's two, like there's so many of these Tengu dudes. Tengu seems to like ancient liches. It's possible they turned into the Ancient Liches, because they do have an affinity for Necromancy. Two of them at once is really annoying. Can you guys see Invisible? I'm sure you can, yeah. They've got crafty bird eyes. Uh, okay, and there's like, stuff here. Let's just throw a net at them. I only have one net left though, I don't want to waste it. We use, uh, Fanagales. Fanagales, get them. Woo! Got blown away. Sure, alright, that's fine. Fanagales blew away all my clouds too, oh no. What do we do? I'm just running, I guess. I'm just sort of running away, hoping that we'll find a better opportunity. Hey, look, the Tengu Reaver died just through my air elementals. That was pretty cool. Good job. Oh, we can't get into this door. What a shame. I didn't want to attack even more guys. I guess we'll just run over this way. Sure, why not? We're having fun. Oh, it's a dude. Oh, you can open the door. Oh, cool. This is a nice little alcove in here. Thanks for opening the door for me. I know it was locked, but he let us in, I think. Yikes. Okay, now we're not experiencing so much fun here we want to like go away and maybe like make sure that we don't die kill the titan that's a good step in the right direction we still have our air elemental friends which are not affected by the clouds so we can just cast clouds all we want you're probably flying right you can fly magically so you know what i'm going to cast airstrike on you he's lightly wounded oh, i don't like that can i get uh I don't know, one of these up. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll phase shift here. Get a little bit out of this dimension. Okay, that's good. Try to confuse these guys just a little bit more. Yeah, you guys can try to take him out maybe or something. Okay, I don't like all this. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna teleport. We got any teleports? We got tons of teleport. I mean, let's just use a, we'll put on a ring even. Put on a ring of teleportation, yeah. Put on a ring instead of that. What am I standing in? Freezing vapor? Yikes. Okay. We'll activate teleportation. Okay. Back away, please. Oh, I got the opportunity for the stab. I gotta try it. No, it didn't work. Okay. Are you in freezing vapor? No, this is a gadget shop. I should check out what's in this gadget shop, I guess. Oh, okay. We teleport over here. That's pretty cool. We get a couple of cool stabs, right? One stab. Two stabs. Three stabs. Oh, man. That was three incredible teleports. Those were three difficult monsters, right? Tengu Reaver was just bullying us over there. The Golden Dragon is nothing you want to mess with, and uh, Tentacle Monstrosity could have caused really problems for us at this point. So we got no magic and no life. We just sort of want to rest up for a second. Oh, we teleported away, but it's okay. We teleported next to the stairs. She is very lucky. Lucky Harrigan. Got the luck of the Irish, right? Don't want to jinx it, of course. So far, I mean... Even blinking around randomly, you can somehow spin it to his benefit. Sometimes it's all you need is a nice teleport. It changes your perspective on things. Okay, yeah, these guys are proving a little more annoying than I expected. We do have RF++ plus 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 now, so I am expecting... Okay, here's a golden dragon. Like, this is not anything to sneeze at. Let's take him upstairs. Uh, I don't even really have a way to disable him, so I guess I'll just cast my buffs and hope for the best. Shroud fell apart. He's trying to poison us, which is cute, but it's not going to work. I don't know, Gel's Gravitas? That can't confuse you, can it? I guess not. Alright, what, what can we do? Are you magic immune? No, he's got tons of magic resistance, though. Probably enough so that we can't do anything about it. Tabbing here is just not seeming to do as much as I'm hoping. Yeah, get our Shroud back up. What do we do then? Lamp of Fire again? He's got so much resistance. If we did paralysis, just 0%. Okay, heavily wounded. 
<laughs> oh no, I, I, I'm not gonna win this fight. Okay, maybe we will. This isn't a bad way to win a fight. I'm sure you can see invisible too. Like we could never expect to do this in like hell or pan and, and come out like feeling good on the other side. Like here, this he's, he's got us almost. Hit him with like an airstrike. Oh, I should have been using airstrike more. Why wasn't I using airstrike? <laughs> airstrike is a spell I was so excited to learn. I should be using airstrike all the time. Oh, and auto pickup was not on because I've got my ring of teleportation on, which explains why I'm blinking around more than usual. All right, put the ring of shadows back on. and I can see invisible again. Okay, good. Let's uh, head back downstairs. Cool. What's up, guys? Come on. Fire giant, you don't scare me at all anymore. I got my RF plus plus plus. Your big old fireballs are not nearly so mean. All right, yeah, these guys are causing some troubles, but we'll cause it doubles definitely. Take these guys upstairs. Oh, and you are unaware somehow. I don't even know why he was unaware. He was un distracted by that recent pile of gold, I guess. Okay. Oh, I guess that didn't do much, but now you did. Dragon shifter. Interesting. Okay, this is fine. Fine. Airstrike. I should be using airstrike. Airstrike, airstrike, airstrike. They fly, right? Airstrike. Oh, we blinked away anyway. That was weird. He's unaware. Okay, but maybe we can get a, a nice little sneak up on him. No? Airstrike. 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 Sort of worked. Gotta get to be more powerful than that. But I feel like it's better than just sort of poking at him with my uh, plus a dagger of woe. It's a pretty woeful option. I am using a lot more magic nowadays, which is good, I guess. I got marked. Okay, that's interesting. Well, maybe I should just head downstairs. Let's see where that takes us. We'll, we'll wield off most of the mark up here, I guess, probably. It's a little dangerous to be marked downstairs. But also, it might be convenient. Well, I guess there's a whole bunch of dudes coming this way as well. Gotta clear them out. You know, gotta kill ogres. He's probably gonna start chanting pretty soon. He's gonna bring the whole neighborhood. They all convoked each other, and now they're having a big old party in here. Well, I gotta break it up. Noise complaint. Cool. Nice, a nice round of 14,000 gold pieces. Which still makes us a tycoon. But now we're like a double tycoon. Uh, eat. How about another meat ration? Nice, nice and full here. Ugly thing, very ugly thing. All right, take him upstairs. Confuse him. You should still get confused like the rest of them. You're dead. And I mean, we have amazing fire resistance now. We can't go up. Oh, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? I did not need that right now. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to do Glubria Travel. Right down over there. Um, Polar Bear changed into a Queen Bee. That's bizarre. All right, well, I guess we have to jump down this way in order to get to him. Now we will confuse him. And take him out. Come on, get him, get him. Get get back here, you coward. Okay, airstrike him. Oh, wow, this does not work very well. Okay, we got him, though. And now we can Galubria back up there. Okay, which almost worked. <laughs> back one more step. Jump here. Oh, it didn't work at all. Okay, there's another one over there, though. So I gotta just keep going, I think. Step. Step. Oh no, why is it blinking around? That's really weird, and we got another ceiling rune. I hate the situation now. Let's teleport again. Alright, and blink. And maybe just sort of run up here. Okay, this is fine. We got a nice little safe spot up here. Tons of gold, too. I mean, we don't have to worry about using food and blinking around and taking our time a little bit. Because now, the more that I think about it, the more I think we're going to be fine for food, right? I mean, are you foreseeing any food issues in the near future? I'm thinking like we got tons of food. Maybe I shouldn't get cocky. I also don't like the fact that that Convoker caused so much trouble over here. But I guess that means that we can just teleport around if we need to. Let's get our standard buffs up. Well, the standard buffs didn't help much. I think they will poison each other all to death, though, which is pretty convenient. Hopefully they'll get confused and wander down here into the poison. Okay, this sucks. We got hit a lot with a lot of different stuff. Uh, unfortunately, we can't continue to stand here, and I sort of just want to quaff a potion of heal wounds. Is there a shra noxious? No, I guess not. Two dire flails. We got hit hard. I sort of just want to quaff that potion of heal wounds that we got. Okay, it helps. Can we like kill? 
This guy? I'd love to just kill that guy. Let's back off and kill him. Kill him. Come on, just kill him. All right, we got him. Now let's leave. Let's be, let's be somewhat smarter about this. Let's blink away. Not a great blink. Let's blink one more time. I guess it's better than nothing. Let's try a con confusion cloud up here. Okay. You guys want to die a little bit faster? Gale's Gravitas. Definitely the time for Gale's Gravitas. Cool. That worked kind of well. Yeah, let's just all collide you guys into each other. Gale's Gravitas. Make giants crash into each other. Come on. Blink away down here. Why are you guys blinking with me? I really don't like that. Uh, one more confusion. Making Okay, this, this hurts. And I hate this. Okay. So, all right. Again, this is stupid. We should have just run. Uh, let's just heal wounds. And now we'll teleport. Teleportation, I guess. I don't know. We'll just use one of our charges. Yeah, again, we're down to low health. Okay. Yeah, the Eden is hitting us. The Eden is confused now, which is something. I think we got to just sort of step away. Step away. Step away. Nice teleport. Close the door. Hey, it's a food shop right in here. What's up, my man? Just doll. Oh. What a joker. He's got what you need. 567 gold. Sounds good. I'll buy you out just doll. Uh, oh, man. Six slices of pizza. That sounds like it's really going to hit the spot right now. But actually, I have a beef jerky as an appetizer. Clear up one spot. How'd you know I was in here? Close that door. This is private. Private shown. Private shown. That's hilarious. They, they keep opening the door. It's very, like, comical. Like, who keeps doing that? Who keeps opening that door? Not me. It's a haunted door. Come on. We're going to keep that closed. We, this is private. This is private. Oh, an Etten. That's what I just was running away from. Are these the same Ettens from earlier? Probably not. Probably just a lot to do down in Vault 5, and it's generally a pretty dangerous and annoying place. But, on the other hand, at least just all seems pretty friendly. You know, not all the Vault 5s are so bad. Oh, that hit so much. That hit so hard. It really annoyed me. Get a guy up here, and then let's, like, use a fan of Gales. Get some, get some guys going there. Uh, Bolt of en negative energy would have been fine. Hit me with all the negative energy that you want, actually. Okay, we still have reasonable health, but not that much health. Where did these guys come from? Do they get convoked? Use my other fan of gales. Oh, it's a nerd. It's a nerd. So I guess let's just teleport or something. There's noxious fumes. Noxious fumes. Hoping these guys will get confused pretty soon. Deep Elf High Priest. I don't like that. Man. I hate to keep teleporting around like this. Like, we only have several charges left on our wand of teleportation. By the way, when I use that wand charge on my healed wounds, I should have used the one that had fewer charges left. Let's remember we have that next time. Could use Amplifier or something. Or just, like, teleport. Put on the ring. Let's put on the ring of teleportation. Well, actually, I'm, I'm just going to use it. Let, let's use the, the wand of teleportation. Let's not be stupid. We could take a lot of damage in one turn here. We've got our buffs up, but not that many. Why don't you guys hopefully just, like, go away if I blink? That was a pretty good blink, right? Like, that Shadow Dragon cannot harm us. We have RN++. Okay, we got a reasonable teleport. Iron Dragon and Tentacle Monstrosity are not exactly easy. We've got to repel missiles. I would love to have Deflect Missiles. We could totally do Deflect Missiles at this stage of the game, obviously. Here's an Iron Dragon. What do we do about you? How much magic resistance do you have? Tons. Uh, I guess... I don't know. Just run away from you? You're slow. Okay, he's a slow, big old lumbering dragon monster. All the Iron Dudes are pretty tough. Are uh, pretty slow, actually, so... I guess that makes sense. We'll take you upstairs and close the door. Hopefully the, the dragon doesn't notice or he's not smart enough to open the door. I actually do think the dragons are not smart enough to open doors, but we did teleport away anyway. Those doors are probably not locked anymore. We can just head upstairs. Take a quick break. Oh, he says as the door gets right back locked again. Annoying. But ironic. You can hardly argue with the irony. 
Oh no, and there comes the elf again. Okay, we gotta make sure that this guy dies right away. Right, you're gonna die. Gale's Gravitas all on you. Gale's Gravitas is happening. Gale's Gravitas. Okay, yeah, you get... Oh no, the Hellfire! The Hellfire is very annoying and very happening. I think if I step up to the left, I'm not gonna be able to see... Yep, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to see the Deep Elf at least, which is the most important thing for me right now. We gotta stay out of line of sight of the Deep Elf. Get up here and get the stab on this guy. Right, because you just have to die. Okay, good. You're distracted by the gold, which is good. Okay. I'd rather not be here, though. I'd rather be upstairs. So I'm going to cast my... Galubria down here in the general stairs area. Good. He's distracted by the gold. I got to take this opportunity to get the stab. Got him, so that's good. But we're going to take our special super uh, Galubria shortcut here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I know I keep inhaling sharply like that, but I get nervous, man. Playing this game, every step you get hit with Hellfire or something. Jump in here, and we're down here. That's fine. Jump up here. Magic is fine. Go upstairs, and we're fine. Wolf Spider, no problem. Okay, that was no problem. No problem at all. Good. Find the nearest down staircase, because I think we took a little bit of a escape route there. Uh, airstrike against dragons. Right? That works very well. It's better than just tapping at them mindlessly. Grand weapon is not going to help us necessarily anymore. Alright, down to the staircase. Cool. Alright, yeah, let's take these guys upstairs. Oh, except we're constricted, really? Can we go upstairs, please? Okay, good. We got him upstairs, at least. Uh, what should we do now? Should we really, like, be next to this guy? I feel like maybe no. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what do I do? Should I just blink? Just blink away. And now I'm going to cast Gale's Gravitas on that Deep Elf. Maybe they'll slam into him. Gale's Gravitas on the Deep Elf. Suck him in. Can you suck these guys inward, please? Gale's Gravitas. Gale's Gravitas. Why is Gale's Gravitas so bad? I keep trying to like you, Gale's Gravitas, but you're not making it easy. We're constricted. Blink away. We're going to try to blink. Okay, we got to blink. Please blink. Please blink. <laughs> Come on. Blink. We blinked. Okay. Uh, this is annoying. I'm going to leave. I'm going to airstrike you a couple of times. I feel like that's the only way. All right, yeah, kill you. Kill you. Blink away from the tentacle monstrosity. Oh, not a good blink. So what do we do now? Just run. I guess. We have enough for a blink now. One more blink down here. Not a good blink. Come on, you should know this. Better blink, please. Blink up. Oh, that's not the way to blink up. Do you not understand this? Don't get the constriction. We don't need the constriction. Blink. That was not terrible. We can work with this. Oh, he can blink too, apparently. How come he gets the good blink? We can run. We can we can deal with this. Okay, let's let's get to another staircase. Oh, he blinked away. Yeah, he's nice. Little, oh, we already used that teleport trap or something. Oh, why did I go this way? What have I done? All right, it's okay. We can use a Glubria. We'll be cunning with about this. All right, Glubria goes up here. And then we can step up here. You get distracted here. One more step even. Yeah, you take one more step that way. Now I jump up here and get you. I don't know if these guys, those guys can open doors. Apparently they can with their many tentacles. I guess that makes sense. Fine manipulators and their tentacles there. We'll go upstairs here and rest up for a second. Good. There we go. Okay, and now we can't get out of here because that's really annoying. And now we'll just use our, I don't know, our lamp of fire because I'm tired of dealing with these jokers. You know what? Let's get some friends in on the action here, please. Blink away down here. Yeah, we can take this guy now. Airstrike a couple of times. Airstrike. Blink away. Airstrike. Blink. Airstrike. 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 There we go. Finally. All right. That was too much trouble. Then we made it out to be. We should have done that from the start and taken those guys out, but I wanted to be careful. Bunch more guys still. Yeah, they're not making this easy, are they? Right? Seriously. Airstrike, 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 airstrike. You're dead. Uh, yeah, you guys maybe want to come over here. Uh, it's pretty annoying that that guy is throwing rocks at us. I feel like we should try to take him upstairs, maybe. That's good. Yeah, we can take these two upstairs. Seems like a pretty good plan. You're dead. You should be dead really soon. I don't know if, you know, we'll put up a shroud and maybe an invasion chance. More confusion possibilities. There we go. That works. All right. Yep. Good, good, good. 
and down we go. Golden Eye over here is not really going to have a chance. Oh, okay, I don't like that Hellfire one bit. There's a Deep Elf High Priest who needs to get Air Striked. Air Struck. Dwarf died, that's pretty good. You just get hit with Air Strikes a couple of times until you're dead, right? Yeah. Unaware, and now possibly you have a Confused and just Air Strike you one more time. Oh, he killed himself with the Hellfire. That was pretty smart. I was meaning that sarcastically, in case you didn't tell. All right, we'll take these two upstairs. I think that's a pretty good fight. Nice. Shadow Dragon gets airstrike a couple of times, right? Sure he does. And now we don't have anything else, but we got this. He can't really hurt us. I mean, seriously. We'll put up the, the Shroud for his melee attacks, but we have the RM++++. It's amazing. Not often do you have RM++ natively like that. I mean, I think if we do go down to hell, probably the first branch that we would tackle would be Tartarus. Just because we're prepared for it. I mean, I guess we're more ready than usual for dealing with torment threats right now. Except that our HP is a little bit lower than we would like, considering that we are a halfling. So, of course, with any of these low HP races, it's not that low, but I mean, if you have lower HP, you gotta worry about the old uh, hellfire Hellfire, or uh, Torment Hellfire 1-2. You know, they take your life down with Torment, and then they hit you with Hellfire. You know, it's it's an inevitable combo. It's, it leads to your doom. I guess we'll just buy everything. Never worry, worry about food ever again. Put some of them outside. What do you got? Royal Jelly? We'll eat it. Nice. So we got tons of food now. We probably don't have to finance a food shop for a while, and all this is profit. I mean, that's amazing. Airstrike, 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 airstrike. Shroud, airstrike, airstrike, airstrike. And tab. There we go. It uses all our magic, unfortunately. And there's another one. Oh, no. Some of our airstrikes are definitely luckier than others by the looks of it. I'm sure it does a pretty wide range of damage there. Or some of these uh, dragons might just be tougher than others, I suppose. Nice. But look at all this gold, all this profits. So much profit. You don't often see huge profit vaults like this, so... I wonder if Gozag had a hand in the fate and Wheel of Destiny here. It's possible. Or maybe we just got lucky, I guess. And gold is more valuable for us than it would be for a usual character. Storm Dragon is confusable, which is interesting, considering that Fire and Ice Dragons are not, I do not believe. Ground Very Ugly Thing, uh, that's probably what is hurting us for more than anything. Also that, yeah, we get confusion on you, that's fine. And airstrike you a couple of times, I guess, seems like a good thing to do. You're dead. You're dead. Ah, oh, the money. We're going to get up to triple tycoon status, mega platinum tycoon. You know, diamond plutonium tycoon status here. All these frequent flyer miles. There you go. Another storm dragon does not seem to be an issue. No electrical worries in this game, not for some time. Of course, being backed up against the wall here is annoying because, come on, why don't you, why don't you die though, buddy? How about airstrike? Airstrike a couple of times. There we go. Take him out with the old airstrike. See, I told you I was waiting for airstrike. Yeah, we don't need Berserk Rage. We've got the uh, amulet, which does it. Stones. I've been picking up stones. Please don't tell me I picked up any stones. Nope. We don't need any sorts of stones. Right? Don't pick up any more bullets or stones. No more stone bullets. No more stones. Good. Throw nets. I'll keep. Throw nets come in handy. Apparently a throwing net can take out a lich. Ah, oh, the money. It's amazing. Alright, Tengu Reaver has proven himself a worthy foe. Let's not underestimate him. Come on, get confused, man. Alright, Gel's Gravitas down here. Gel's Gravitas. Why does Gel's Gravitas never work? Is it because my hexes are so low? Is it like the chances of confusion scales with hexes exclusively or something? These guys just don't... Alright, this, this is annoying. I'd love to... Airstrike this guy a couple of times. Yeah, we got the we got the priest at least, so no more demons. But you need to get seriously confused. I need to get my shroud up. Just to be able to Okay. This is something. I've got a couple of choice stabs in on that dragon. I think we've got to airstrike him a couple of times. I don't even know if our dragons fly. No, they don't. Which is weird. Right? That's unnatural for a dragon. Dragons are supposed to fly. And I don't think we should be here anymore. I think we should leave. 
blink down and leave. Sure, you can come and fight. Oh no, that hurt a lot. I'm gonna just leave. You're not gonna stop me. Nobody can stop me. All right, let's use Glubria to get some distance. All right, so we use Glubria over here. Jump and get a little bit of distance. And again, well, we can't do it just yet. There's the rune though. Should we snag that real quick? I guess we should. It seems like a nice safe little area in here with a nice shop and some gold. It's a bookshop too. I wonder if there's anything good. Uh, okay, Freezing Wraith definitely calls for a Lamp of Fire. What do you think about that? Yeah, all up in here. And then, yeah, Mr. Tango Reaver, you are also just cruising for a bruising yourself. What, Fireballs? I don't care. I can take it. Air Magic going up. Even better Air Strikes. Yes, please. All this. Oh, yes, everything Hunger List, too. Amazing. Why don't you guys just sort of generally burn to death? You guys attack over there and kill them. Perfect. I'll just do the gold collecting work over here. I'll supervise while you guys handle most of the dirty business. Is that okay? Ugh, an Iron Dragon is annoying. He's unaware. Distracted by the gold. We got a great stab. So let's try an airstrike. Airstrike. Confusion to see if I can get the Etten real quick. And now I get the kill on him. <laughs> okay, low hit point. Okay, we just want to make sure he's, like, confused or whatever. Is that possible? I'd like to get a blink, a nice blink here. Keep, you know, let's blink down over here. He's distracted by gold or whatever. I'd like to just run, as annoying as that is. I don't want to get hit by a netton. I don't want to die to a netton right now. That's, like, the last thing I want to do. So I'm just going to run away until I have a little bit more life and magic. Eat all of my food. I got so much food now. We'll eat that beef jerky. Got to clear up some inventory, in fact. Yeah, ogres are not a concern. Etten over there. We'll deal with these ogres first. And I could just, like, go invisible. I'll throw up a cloud, even though I know it's going to get the Etten's attention. I'll try to sort of, like, move over to the right here, so... We can sort of, like... Move away... From the source of the sound. But I'm going to just keep... <laughs> Leaving a trail of clouds behind me, of course. And then bling away. That was actually a very convenient teleport, and I appreciate it. Let's try to take this guy out as quickly as we can. Airstrike. Oh, I don't have enough magic. Just take him out real quick. Oh, please. No, this is going to get slightly weird here. With convokers convoking convokers. Okay, we got one of them there. We'll take that one there. Uh, I would like to t kill you, maybe. And then you as well. And then you... Killed that one, all right, so the Convokers are dead. That's fine. The iron, yeah, those Ettons, man. Those Ettons are our primary concern. Blink away, okay, that was a good blink. You guys are mostly confused, but here comes another Etten. Can they see invisible? I guess they can't. Maybe this is an opportunity to do that. It costs two MP though, so next two MP that we have, let's do it. We're surrounded by Ettons on both sides, but if we go invisible, they'll never notice. I would love to have a shroud too. I still feel a little bit uncomfortable doing this. Okay. Got that in, and now I'll just I'll run. Yeah, this guy can still see us. Come on. Okay, yeah, he can't, but that's okay. Let's just head over back here to the room. Ooh, okay, again. Annoying. Um, let's just use a Glubria over like here. That's not uh, terrible. Jump in here. Use a couple of airstrikes. One airstrike. Okay, that helped a lot. <gasps> Crap. All right, heal up. There's no reason not to heal up. Don't be an idiot. That guy can pierce through a lot of your defenses. We got him now. Okay, that's that's annoying. But we sort of wanted to ditch this annoying heal wounds wand anyway. This thing is sort of a spare. Okay, annoying stuff happening here. Like that guy protecting all the other guys. But at least that means that when we hit all the other guys, he will die too. Another Etten while we're low on health. What is with this? Are you staying in the Noxious Fumes? Let's use a Fan of Gales. Blow him away. Hey, you didn't get blown away. Confusion then? Okay, can you guys just like take him out, please? I would love it if you would just get taken out. Yeah, take him out, please. There we go. All right, Air Elementals to the rescue. Get that guy to... Let me just rest for a minute. Man, there's no way to rest down here. Okay, uh, yeah, we got hit by something, but it wasn't terrible. Good, good. Air Elemental's up to some shenanigans, definitely. Definite shenanigans. Alright, though. I guess we are good. 
Check out this bookshop. Advanced Witchery. That's an amazing name for a book. I guess we don't really want to learn any of those spells except for haste, maybe. Haste is a good spell. It's an amazing spell. I mean, it could be worth just for that. What else we got? Control, which we wanted for control teleport, but I don't think anything, nothing more than that. Summonings, no. Flames, no. Hindrance, no. Ashen, unholy magic. No, this sounds a little bit, a little bit dark for us. Fire, no. Debilitation, no. Right, nothing in here we need. Incarnations? No. Congealing confrontation is all about frost and conjurations. Okay. Pan manual of pole arms. No. Okay, so there's nothing really in here except for maybe haste. But $1,300 for haste, it seems a little steep, especially when we already got like eight potions of haste that we never use. So let's just wait on that. You know, I think we'll probably find a spellbook with haste in it eventually. So let's not worry too much about that for right now. You know, nice, a nice attempt, you know, I mean, it was a nice pitch, Urchewick. But we're a little bit cleverer than that, you know. Here's a silver rune. Hopefully it's the real one and not a mimic. I uh, mean, they took out rune mimics now that they don't actually do anything. But here we go. I picked it up and it flashed white. And it was very cool. And we all of a sudden we got four runes. Ain't that something? Nice. That Iron Brand Convoker is loyal to the cause. I appreciate that. I almost forgot we had a bribe. I wonder what our bribe fund is at nowadays. It's only about half gone, but at least we use some of it. I'm pretty good about that. I'm pretty happy about that. Book of Clouds, what's in here, huh? We could learn some of this stuff. Mephitic Cloud is great, obviously. Uh, you know, some of these other spells. Like, I'm, I wonder if we were to learn... No, we still don't have really a prayer at, at Freezing Cloud or Poisonous Cloud, but we don't really want them anyway. That's for a different character. It would be really cool to have, like, an awesome Cloud Mage character who just learns, like, all the Cloud spells. Just makes lots of pretty clouds everywhere. Blow him around with tornado. You know, that'd be an awesome character. I could get behind that idea. But I don't think it's us right now. Maybe if we became super genius air mages in the future. We'll, we'll see. We still have maybe a pipe gene of learning tornado, tornado one day. And considering that we got, you know, this airstrike, I mean, that's like Tornado Jr. We're on the way. No, we're not going to confuse our Iron Convoker. Good. He's just going to confuse himself anyway. He's just going to wander right in there. All right, perfect. Iron Brand Convoker, you go get that guy. It's a good test. I'll do airstrikes from the back. Oh no, Iron Brand Convoker, we hardly knew ye. Uh, blink away. Okay, yeah. Can we get this guy? I don't like these guys at all. They always make a fool out of me. Airstrikes help, I guess. Maybe I should be going, yeah, blinking away and then maybe casting phase shift or whatever. Or just use like a... I can tap the rest of the way through this guy. Fine. Good enough swordsman that I can deal with that. But here we go. Okay. Okay. That ring is automatically lame just because of the minus teleport, which is a shame because otherwise it's pretty good. Yeah, but we got better rings. How about that ring? The ring of Bruig? It makes a case for being better than Stytex, but I'm not so sure. The dexterity minus two, strength plus two. We like dexterity better than strength. And Stytex has already got electricity and stealth anyway. I mean, it gives us extra magic, but Stytex gives us fire resistance. So I'm not so sure. And other than that, I guess I don't see anything that we would want, right? So yeah, those, those are some okay rings. In another universe where we hadn't found amazing rings, we would have been tempted by that, maybe. But not yet. All right, gadgetry here. I mean, we're pretty good on gadgets. We don't really use rods anymore, and we definitely don't want Rod of the Swarm. And I mean, yeah, another fan of Gales. I guess we could take another fan of Gales. I don't know. Another Lamp of Fire. Could be nice. I'm sure we're probably going to find more than we're going to be able to use anyway, though. So, fine. Eat, eat some pizza. Scroll noise. Oh, beneficial mutation. Okay. That's interesting. And for a low, low price of $420, that's good to know. Let's buy that heal wounds and just quaff it right away. Oh, I really thought that was going to get us up to 180. Let's quaff maybe one potion of curing. There, all right, now we're just feeling good about that. Potion of Haste we could pick up. Yeah, we can buy two more Potions of Curing. And I think that's all we really want to buy. Potions of Curing are, are pretty nice. Potion of Beneficial Mutation is going to be nice too in the future. But I think I'd rather sit, wait until I get a Cure Mutation. I'm sure I'm going to happen upon a Cure Mutation pretty soon. I can get rid of my Annoying Mutation. Play Ghost, why don't you just get Airstruck? Ghosts fly, right? They hit getting blown around by the air. 
it's really impolite to a ghost if you turn on a ceiling fan or something. They get all blown around and then they get really huffy about it and they haunt you for a while. Just a little ghost etiquette. You get invited to a ghost party, you know, don't bring a pocket fan or anything. They'll get annoyed. Okay. I think we're sort of wrapping up here. I mean, we have the runes, so I mean, anything else that we do is just purely for fun and profit here. But we're having a lot of both. <laughs> I had two runes today, I mean, right? That's pretty productive. Got the slimy rune and the uh, the vault rune here. Silver rune as well. So there you go, vault five completely complete. We got some pretty cool loot in here. You know, nothing really material, but just like tons and tons of gold. So we just got tons of, of stone cold cash here, which we can spend on whatever we like. All right, and we're at full fighting strength here. We can definitely take you now. Get a couple of buffs here. And yeah, you, I should be using phase shift, right? I should be using phase shift all the time. Let's remind myself of that. Use phase shift all the time. It's completely hungerless. I just need to press 1, 2 all the time. That's why I put it there. Just press 1, 2 every time you go into a fight. All right, great. Go upstairs, eat a little bit more pizza. And another slice of pizza. And just really dig out on the pizza. Just eat all the pizza. Mmm. Gorge, the super supreme pizza. All right, that, that tasted good. I was I'm too full to eat anything. That might have been slightly wasteful, but I mean, it's not that wasteful, and I wanted to get rid of this pizza for my inventory anyway. So there you go. All right, that was pretty successful, right? That was a nice little romp through Vault 5. You know, the bribe didn't exactly work out, but it worked out okay, and we spent about half of it, so, you know, keep the change, go Zag, I don't care. And we'll, we'll still try to bribe Hell, because every little advantage you can get in Hell helps. Anyway, I just want to see if we can do it. I bet we could go through Tartarus, maybe, maybe give it a shot. But I think I'm done for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.